Hello, and welcome back to Battle Plan. I'm Steve Hemphill, and our website is active-faith.org. My email is stevehemphill1 at me.com. In our last episode, we talked about the ancient covenant step number one, which was a robe exchange, symbolizing a confusion of identity. And we talked about briefly each time that ancient covenants had 10 very specific steps. And without all 10, you weren't in covenant. You couldn't be in partial covenant. You either did all 10 or you weren't in covenant. Today, we're covering the original ancient covenant step number two which is a belt exchange. As an example, if, if Bill and I made a covenant in ancient times, I would give Bill my belt to keep, by the way, which, uh, by the way, had my weapons hung from my belt. And that would, uh, uh, exchanging these belts would represent exchanging strength. Your strength is now my strength. My strength is your strength. If you need me, I'm here. If I need you, you're here. You're available. You will come. Uh, so in, in modern times and the new covenant era, Christians have access to God's strength because of our covenant with him. That's why we pray, Lord, give us strength. Isaiah 11 has an interesting verse about this. This is Isaiah 11, verse 5, New Century Version says, goodness and fairness will give him strength like a belt around his waist. Obviously, one of the... Um, um, pieces of armor is the belt of truth. I might pray like this, Lord, help me be uh, good and, and fair always. May those qualities become my strength and my habit. Open my eyes to any ways I'm less than good or less than fair and help me to change and become more like Jesus every day in Jesus' name. The New Testament repeatedly teaches us that uh, Jesus is the source of our strength as Christians. Um, one example is 2 Timothy 2, verse 1, uh, GWT says, my child, find your source of strength in the kindness of Christ Jesus. Lord, you alone are the source of my strength and stamina. You provide what I need, and you know exactly when I need it. Help me to imitate Jesus Christ and his kindness in everything I do each and every day, and give me strength to face whatever I must in Jesus' name. When Jesus was facing his death on the cross, he received strength from God. Luke 22, 42 to 43, the New Living Translation says, Father, if you're willing, please take this cup of suffering away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Then an angel from heaven appeared and strengthened him. Inner strength comes from God, and we can pray for it. Ephesians 3, 16, NLT says, I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength, inner strength through his spirit. And here is perhaps the most quoted passage on strength from the uh, Bible, or especially the New Testament, I guess, is Philippians 4.13. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Can God can also strengthen our resolve against temptation. 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 3, but the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. God will also give us strength to endure suffering. 2 Timothy 1, verse 8, so never be ashamed to tell others about our Lord, and don't be ashamed of me either, even though I'm in prison for him. With the strength God gives you, be ready to suffer with me for the sake of the good news. So in light of today's thoughts, let me suggest that part of your personal battle plan might be to pray regularly for strength to overcome the enemy, to resist temptation, to endure suffering, and to face your upcoming trials. You can donate to this ministry on our website at active-faith.org. Thank you for helping keep this going. See you next time on Battle Plan, where we'll cover ancient covenant step number three, weapon exchange. Keep praying because prayer works. God loves you, and I love you. Have a great day.